Well, let's run through how you might present, say, the plan view of this design on a layout sheet. Let's imagine that we just wanted to put it on an A4 sheet to do a quick check print. And we wanted to print at a nominated scale. We don't have a scale bar or even the north indicator and other bits of information here yet. They'll come later. But this is just a, a check print, but we want it at a fixed scale. So it's format, layouts. We'll pick a new one. And I'll leave the name at layout one, but in rehearsing it, I've made one called A4 Landscape 1 to 20. We're going to aim for a scale of 1 to 20. So it's A4 sheet, but we want it in album or landscape format, and we'll go OK. So we'll swing to the layout sheet, and this is what we have. Let's zoom extents, and I don't like the grid on there because it confuses me, and this is what we're looking at. This is the floating viewport. We can either double click it or select the edge of the floating viewport. Then if we double click in there, we jump into and back into model space and we have a magenta um, rectangle indicating the area that we're going to display. So clearly we need to reduce the size of the frame that's going to hold that information. I might be inclined to put the... Uh, um, it's not a section indicator, it's a view indicator, an elevation indicator on a different layer, but I digress. Once we've done that, it's right click and display on the layout, and that's what we get. Let's deactivate the viewport for the moment, and we'll select the floating frame. And if you come over here into the properties of that frame, you should be able to see that its view scale is close to 20. So if we type 20 in there, and then we fix it by clicking in there. We now have a fixed, accurate plot scale. And we could put some text in and label it scale 1 to 20. If I double click back in here, you'll notice now as I move around, I can't get hold of the corners of the box and, and change its size. That's because scale is now fixed at 1 to 20. So let's come back onto the layout and deactivate the model. We might want to add, say, uh, the title block information here. And to do that, we can right click on the word layout one and add a viewport. We can sit a little viewport here. This will be the uh, logo and title block information. So it's a separate and different viewport. Again, double click into it and we have a new floating box indicating the area and just down the bottom here let me zoom in here is our logo and our layout sheet so I'm just sizing our port view if you like of what's going to be displayed in the floating viewport and now we can display it on the layout and deactivate sorry you've got to be careful here deactivate the viewport there so there's our uh, our logo sitting there. So we've got two frames. We don't have to worry about setting a scale factor here. The scale factor here is in fact five, but it's related to the size of the block. So let's right click and unselect all. Uh, as a final thing, let's just select both viewports and I'll make the color of those white. So they'll be white on a white background. So if we say select color, Let's pick color 255 and unselect all and zoom extents. And there's our plan view. It needs some tweaking yet. Thicker lines to indicate the boundaries of the site. Change the line type scale of the dotted dash dot line to represent the entrance. Needs a north indicator. I'd be inclined, I think, for balance to change the size of the logo. It looks a little small, but that's the whole point of a check plot. You can print it out now on an A4 sheet. To fit on an A4 sheet, it could be labelled 1 to 20. And if you find at that point that the logo and, and job information is too small, well, quickly come back and change things.